Did you use the space command at home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've never watched much television, and I didn't watch it anymore just for that reason. <clears throat> However, I did have fun with it. I was in this, I'm now talking about the middle 50s after this thing had come out commercially. <clears throat> I was much more interested in microwave tubes than I was in, in, in the remote control that was past history. And uh, I had uh, <clears throat> once one of my colleagues from some other company, or from I think Stanford University actually, <clears throat> was here for a conference, and I invited him to come to my house. And uh, I thought I'd show this to him. So uh, he asked me, I, I showed it to him in operation, and he asked me, how does it work? And I told him it works with uh, eight millimeter wavelengths. Of course, he never guessed that that was my intention to confuse him. He never guessed that I was talking about acoustic wavelengths rather than microwave type of electromagnetic waves. Eight millimeters in those days was difficult to do, very difficult to do. It was you know, too high frequency. Uh, there were means known of, of generating such short wavelengths, but they were not exactly the sort of thing you would find in the living room. So when I said, I was quite sure he would fall for that. But when I said eight millimeters, he said, how do you do it? And I very quietly said 40,000 cycles per second. Eight millimeters would not normally be in a gigahertz, you know. So that was my, my main application, I think, for, 